in today's gospel passage gives Jesus reply to the question asked by a few disciples of John, the Baptist about fasting and feasting. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving were the three cardinal works of the Jewish religious belief. And hence, John's disciples wanted to know why they and the Pharisees fasted while Jesus' disciples were seen feasting with him and never fasting. So Jesus replied, Jesus responded to their sincere questions using three metaphors. Number one, the metaphor of the children of the bridal chamber. Number two, the metaphor of patching thorn, thorn clothes and the metaphor of wine skins. And this is, can be found also in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, verse, verses 18 to 20, and also in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5, verses 33 to 35. But in today's Gospel passage, my dear friends, taken from Matthew, Jesus compares his disciples with the children of the bridal chamber. These people were selected friends of the bridegroom who feasted in the company of the bride and groom during a week of honeymoon. So nobody expected them to fast. And Jesus declares that his disciples will fast when he, the bridegroom, is taken away from them. So my dear friends, one of the fruits of the Spirit is joy. And it is mentioned next after love in St. Paul's list, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So therefore, we are to welcome the joys of Christian life as well as the crosses it offers us. The father of the church interpret the image of the bridegroom and the bride as referring to Christ and his church. And some explain it topologically, as long as the spouse is with us, we are not able to mourn. But when by our sin we turn from Jesus, then is the time for tears and fasting. So yet others reply the words of Christ to the Holy Eucharist. The parable does not condemn the strictness of John or does it condemn fasting. The disciples of Christ kept the fast prescribed by the law, but they did ignore those imposed by the Pharisees. During the Mass two days ago, Ash Wednesday, I did mention in my homily that fasting reduces the excessive accumulation of fat in our soul and in the form of evil tendencies and evil habits or spiritual obesity. So in addition, Fasting gives us additional moral and spiritual strength. It offers us more time to be with God in prayer and encourages us to share our food and goods with the needy. We fast so as to share in the sufferings of the body of Christ. That is the meaning of that. And, my dear friends, we need to be adjustable Christians with open and elastic minds and hearts. The Holy Spirit, working actively in the church and guiding the magisterium, 
the teaching authority in the church enables the church to have new visions, new ideas, new adaptations, and new ways of worship in the place of old ones. So my dear friends, we should have the generosity and goodwill to follow the teachings of the church. God bless.